There was a verse I read in Matthew 7, and, and I was in church, and I'm reading this, and it says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Man, when I read that passage, I, I remember just sitting in a church service and looking around at all the people in the church, and I started thinking, wait, but what God says is not everyone who just says to him in the end, Lord, Lord, is going to enter the kingdom of heaven. It says, it's the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. And he says that on that day, many many people, many will say to me, Lord, Lord. Okay, so these are people that probably attend churches, that know about the Bible, maybe believe that they're actually saved. And they're, it's like a shock when they go, Lord, Lord, here I am. And, and, and then they're even going to name things that they did. Didn't I prophesy in your name? Didn't I preach in your name? Didn't I cast out demons in your name? Didn't I do this, 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 this? And then God will declare to them, depart from me. I never knew you. You workers of lawlessness. Could anything be worse than coming into the presence of that holy God that I talked about this morning. Let's say this is the last day of your life. It could be. I've done conferences like this where someone died during the conference and say, it's the end and you come before that God. Could anything be worse than to hear, depart from me, I never knew you. Guys, this is about the end. We all go somewhere. There's, there's, there's some who, who, when Christ returns, when this judgment takes place, you know, it, it's, it's all about him wiping every tear from, his, from our, our eyes. And, and could you imagine for God to say, hey, I'm your God now and you are my son. Could there be anything better than that? I mean, you're going to hear one of two things. Well done, good and faithful servant, my son. Or depart from me. I never knew you. I know you went to youth group. I know you went to church. I knew your parents. I knew some of your friends. But I never knew you. Like, like... You guys, that's why, like, there's so many things in life that are going to distract you, and you'll get so into this, so into that, so into all these other things, and I'm going, man, those things don't matter. They really don't. I'm just telling you right now, I don't care that much about your future here on earth. You know, if you're successful in business, I don't care that much. If you have a great marriage, I really don't care that much. What I care about is when you stand before God, what's he going to say? See, it's so important that your relationship with him is really your own, that you don't just pray to him when everyone else is around. That, that, that you, you've got to know that, look, even if your mom, your dad, all of your family and all of your youth group, everyone in your youth group just decides we're not following him anymore, what would you do? Seriously, imagine everyone you love walking away from Jesus. What would you do? You're picturing that? Would you at that moment go, man, mom, dad, I, man, I'm so sad for you guys. I would miss all the whole youth group, but you know what? I love him. I can't leave him. It's like me, I know what he did for me from the core of my being. 
and I can't leave him because I personally love him and I know him and he's known and I'm known by him. 